Hello all, welcome back to the 5 minute tech channel. Today we will continue on our microservice architecture and its implementation journey with the example number 5 and in this we will be talking about the microservice using PostgreSQL with ASP.NET Core. Here we will be designing a discount service using PostgreSQL and ASP.NET Core. Uh, the first part will include the PostgreSQL introduction and how we'll set up the PG admin and part two will cover the actual service implementation using ASP.NET Core. So this is the whole path we are following. We are at the stage where we are going to develop the discount service using PostgreSQL. We have already done the Redis API and also the product services. Postgres SQL was uh, developed in late 1980s. Um, it's an open source relational database management system. It has more than 30 years of acti active uh, development history. Um, the Postgres SQL has object oriented features, uh, works like any other object oriented language and handles unstructured data as well. It is also widely used, uh, used as a relational database. Uh, it supports both SQL and JSON formats to implement relational and non-relational queries on the data uh, we add to the database. Um, in, in other words, uh, you can write SQL commands to process data present in ta tables that belongs to respective database servers. Now, because of its features and its functionality, um, Postgres SQL is uh, right now ranked four among the most popular databases in the world and uh, we'll discover more details about it going forward. So Postgres is based on the typical client server model. The central server component called Postmaster manages all database files and all connections that are established for communication that is input output with the database server. Um, users only need to su uh, need a suitable client program to establish the connection, whereas the Postgres SQL software package with APL SQL already has native solution integrated for operations via the command line or the terminal. Also, it has a user interface which is called PG admin, which can be or a PHP PG admin, which can be used um, for interacting with the DB or any other client which can um, interact with the whatever DB objects that you have created. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of PostgreSQL? Um, advantages hi are highly expandable, largely compliant with the SQL standards which we follow. And uh, it is also able to process complex data types and uh, we can perform full text search. It supports JSON as I already mentioned, it is a class platform and it has supports a lot of uh, programming languages. Disadvantages are primarily uh, comparatively low reading speed. Um, it is also not available on all the hosts by default and the documentation wise also it is little restrictive for any other languages other than English. Now to start with Postgres, we need to install the, um, the image, we don't need to pull the image. Um, we can run the docker command, which is uh, docker pull Postgres as you see on the screen. It will pull the latest uh, image into your system, provided you have the docker installation already done. So that's for, that will be the first step wherein you get the docker installed in your system and then run this command to pull the docker uh, Postgres. You can see you can check the images as well using docker images. Next command you have to run is to pull the pg admin as I mentioned for the user interface. Um, so that is the command which you run. After you run the command, you will be able to set up the pg admin. As you can see here, you can run the pg admin um, email id and other things you can set it up. Uh, you can also verify whether or you have all the images up and running. And finally, you have to do an inspect for that specific Postgres instance, which you have installed to get the all the configurations. I'll talk about how these configurations will be used. But remember, these are some of the steps that you have to run to get the your, your Postgres SQL up and running. So we'll move on to the demo part. So we'll start with uh, checking our images. 
so i am just running a set of images which are there so if you see here uh, the pg admin is uh, uh, running on the 8 uh, port 80 and this is the latest image uh, which is running so i'll go to the browser and uh, uh, launch port 80 So as soon as I launch, I'll be able to see the set of servers. Since I've already logged in, it is showing it as um, um, my uh, already logged in email ID and it already has the setup, but you may have to log in. Also, you can expand this. You can create new tables using the query tool uh, which is here. You can click on the query tool and create new tables or database entities. So once you click on the query table, this query tool window will open wherein you can go ahead and uh, write your query. So I'll create a new table. And you can run this. As soon as you run this, you should be able to um, see your table here. Coupon customer. And it will have all the columns that you have mentioned. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next part of this series wherein I'll be creating uh, the APIs using ASP.NET code and connecting to this D database to create that discount service. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.